Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll show you how I turn this photo here into this watercolor artwork very easily in Photoshop. So the first thing you need to do is download the free Photoshop action from the description below. This Photoshop action will take off hours of work for us per photo. It'll set up all the layers and all the folders that we need to quickly create watercolor art. So after you've downloaded that file, navigate to where you unzipped the contents. And firstly, you just wanna double click on the ATN file here. So that is the action itself that will then appear in your actions panel here. So go back to where you downloaded the file and wanna do the same for the brushes and patterns. Just go inside this folder, double click, back into the patterns folder, double click. So now if I hit B and then right click anywhere over the photo. See so here are the brushes and the patterns will be loaded up as well. So after you've done that, all you need to do is go back into the actions panel, tool, open this folder, select the top one here and click play. This is just asking you to check the size of your image. So click continue. And for this one, just gonna leave it as is, click okay. So that's all we need to do. Uh, the action will finish and it'll set up all the layers and folders. So I'll fast forward the video and get to that point. When the action's finished, all you need to do is click, hold and drag around your photo to start revealing it as a watercolor. Okay, and if you want to adjust the radius of the reveal, you can experiment with the area here. You can drag it up down or up higher if you want. Now, one thing you'll notice that when you are revealing your watercolor is that it leaves gaps. Uh, so you can see on the couch here how I'm moving my mouse, I'm dragging my mouse over the couch there, but it's not filling in some of those areas. That's because the watercolor is built up over three layers here. So uh, when the action's finished, it selects this top one here for you to uh, brush onto. But if I select this one here and start brushing again, you can see that it starts to fill in areas that that top layer here missed. So this just gives you a bit more creative control over the appearance of your watercolor. So I can have it sort of built up more on this side of the couch and have it fade off a bit more on the left, okay? And the same applies here for this bottom layer. I can just start brushing around to reveal the watercolor in different areas again. All right, so next I might just turn off the lineup folder. And like I said, I'll put this link down in the description going over all these layers and folders in more detail. Uh, it's a full length tutorial for this action. So check that out if you want. So I'm just gonna just jump to this, these three adjustment layers quickly and adjust the, take a look at the brightness. So you can see as I adjust this, um, we're just increasing the brightness of that particular watercolor layer in purple there. So I'll grab this one. Okay, try this one. I think that's, that's pretty good. Now what I might do is go into the edge uh, definition folder and down the bottom here, uh, I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna hit B, right click, and I'm gonna go inside the reveal brushes folder here and select this one here. And when you start uh, brushing onto this layer, it starts to reveal more of the edge details in your uh, photo. So you can see how the plants here stand out a bit more as I brush over them. Uh, and you can just sort of just click, click around your photo. You don't have to click, hold and drag, you can just click around. And one last thing I might do is work on smudging these textures a bit. So if I just select this top layer here, the top purple layer, I'll turn these two off. Select this top one, I'll hit B. I'll go inside the blend brushes folder here and you can select any one of these. Let's just grab this one for the moment. And when you start, click, hold and drag, you can smudge uh, where you have currently revealed. So I can fill in this area here. I can smudge the, smudge that around, smudge this around. And just be wary that uh, you might notice that as you're smudging, it kind of runs into a boundary where it won't smudge any further. That is because of the mask that's applied to the layer. So if I hold down Alt or Option, click on that mask, you can see that uh, the area in white is the area that uh, this layer allows you to brush onto. Everywhere in black won't appear, okay? So just keep that in mind. So I'll just smudge this around a bit more. 
and you can turn on the other layers here and do the same. There's different types of brushes here you can play around with. Let's try this one. Again, you can use like the left and right square brackets to adjust the size of the brush. Okay. All right, I think that'll do. So next what I wanna do is uh, apply some overall uh, color adjustments to this. So what I'm gonna do is select the top folder here and hold down Control Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E. And I'm gonna use the uh, camera roll filter. So go to the filter menu, camera roll filter. And I'm gonna click on this icon here, browse profiles. And it's just a bunch of preset color options here we're gonna experiment with. So I like to go inside modern here. I usually like this first one, modern 01. And you can adjust how much of that effect is applied. So just apply a little bit. And then I'll combine it with number two. And you can just hover over any of these and check those out. Uh, let's have a look at vintage. To get a quick before and after, I use I usually move my mouse over the thumbnail and off it. That just gives you a quick snapshot. Uh, maybe a bit of this one, just uh, just a little bit. Okay, I'll go back and go inside this basic tab here and I might just play around with the texture here so you can see if I adjust as I adjust this it creates a different kind of look so I might remove a bit of the texture here clarity play around with that one so as you drop the clarity down it creates a bit more of a softer look to your watercolor so let's drag that down a bit dehaze Let's turn up the vibrance a bit. And I'll go inside the detail tab here, uh, add a little bit of sharpening and I'll click okay. So one last thing I might do just to fine tune the overall appearance of this is go to image adjustments, shadows and highlights. And here I'm just gonna experiment a bit with these settings. Um, just try and boost the brightness of the shadows a little bit here. Okay, have a look at the radius. And you can take a look at the mid-tone down the bottom here. Okay. All right, I think that is good. So that's a quick and easy way to create watercolor artwork in Photoshop from your photos. Now, just a reminder, I'll put a link to this free Photoshop action down in the description. So just make sure you download that Photoshop action if this is an effect you wanna create, or if you just wanna play around with the effect. Uh, I'll also put a link to the full length video tutorial for that action if you wanna learn more about how each one of these layers and folders affects your watercolor. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.